in the previous episode, I discussed whether or not we will be seeing another installment of Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. 7. People keep saying that it's Super Smash Bros. 6, but that is not true. Although, Smash Wii U and 3DS kind of released with the same sort of title. Sakurai has mentioned himself that they are separate games because you only have portable handheld levels and stages in the 3DS version versus the Wii U's console type stages. If that makes any sense. So if you want to keep arguing that, that's fine, but you're wrong and that's that. So Super Smash Bros. 7. In the previous video, we discussed that I believe there will be another one, but I do not think Sakurai will be returning because he said he has retired. Now there's always a possibility that he comes back, but for the sake of this thought experiment and the speculation and theory crafting that we're going to be doing for this series of Super Smash Bros. 7, we're just going to assume that Sakurai is not coming back on the project and we're going to be getting a new director, which means possibly a new direction for the franchise. In upcoming videos, I will talk about the characters that I think will be in it and some of these bigger types of mechanics that I think might be implemented and changed in a new Super Smash Bros. But for now, I wanted to talk about the features. Features I want to see, features that I think need to be improved on, stuff of that nature. And I want to know what you guys think. I want you guys to let me know what features you would like to see or be changed down in the comments below. So, what features would I like to see in a new Super Smash Bros. game? I'm going to try to make this as least interesting and most interesting, so I'm just going to start off with a better UI system for the menus. Don't get me wrong, I really do appreciate the style choices that they have for Super Smash Bros, but I think as we've gotten more and more installments, the menus got more and more confusing. I mean, nothing's going to be as bad as Smash 4's menu. But, I mean, come on. And I feel kind of bad because I believe Sakurai's wife did the designs for those menus. But, it's kind of... I, I, don't, I don't know the exact extent in which she worked on them. Because the design is fine. I like the way things look. I like the colors. It's just the organization and where they put things doesn't make quite much sense. Now, relax a -lax did a video way back in the day on menus for Super Smash Bros. So... I guess you could go watch his channel if you want to get in a more in-depth look into that. But I do think they need to organize the menus better in the future Smash Bros and the UI of that nature. I still like the colors, I still like the pop, but I think the organization of Melee was probably the best even though it wasn't perfect. Next is online matchmaking. Now listen. Nintendo's never going to have a really robust online system. They don't need to because they know fans will just buy whatever crappy service they shuffle out even though it's 5, 10, 15 years older than everything else that we're getting. So I'm not going to be hopeful in this regard, but there are certain aspects of the arena and how the arena is set up that I think could definitely be changed. I think it's very silly that you have to be queued in order to see a match if other people are fighting you should be able to just jump in and spectate at whatever time i don't know how they would implement that system that's not my job but i think it would be nice where if you're in an arena and you want to switch characters while two people two people are fighting you can then hop in right afterwards i think that's the biggest thing along with online settings i think can be more robust and specific especially when you're playing just with friends if you're in a friend arena you should be able to play around with those settings a lot more almost as if you're in like a training mode and that could be a lot of fun in its own right i just think that could be done a lot better it's very simplistic in smash ultimate which is fine but i think people are getting really annoyed with that structure and how that arena is set up i also don't know why you can't have two people playing on the same switch also play with somebody online why does everyone need to pull out their switch to play multiplayer with one another. If I'm at home with my brother and we're literally on the same couch playing the same game, we should be able to open a friend arena and be able to play on that couch, play each other, and then also be able to play with the people online, but that is just not implemented at this time. The next thing I think as a feature that needs to be changed or improved upon is the replay system. Although it is remarkably better than anything that we've seen prior, I think the replay system is still flawed in the fact that you kind of have to sit there and watch the whole match through in order to get the footage that you want. I believe you can fast forward some segments and some portions, but it still takes a minute and it's just not very responsive with the controller. So I think 
tuning that up a little bit more and being able to like go in blocks would be much more beneficial to the overall, I guess, software using for recording. They're getting there, it's just not quite perfect yet. And the biggest feature I would like to see implemented within the next Super Smash Bros. game is actually the random selection for characters. I understand that you can have true random with this, but it would be cool to be able to toggle what characters you want to be randomized, where you can turn certain characters off and on. In Smash Ultimate, you can select what stages you want on and off for if you do random stage select. Why can't you do this with characters? Why can't the roster pop up and you can gray out which characters you don't want? Because honestly, it is kind of annoying where you have a vast roster and you just keep getting characters that you don't want in random. Now, you could also just have house rules when you're with your friends or whatever and be like, alright, when we're playing random, you have to have true random one, meaning all the characters need to be uh, on. Or you could have fun and be like, alright, so you do random, but only set it to your four or five top best. I think that would be really, really fun. Which leads me to another thing that I just thought of, and that would be Smashdown and Special Smash modes online for friends only. So it wouldn't be like a ranking system, there wouldn't be GSP, you couldn't do this with randos, but you could do this with friends. Do a friend arena and then be able to do smash down 3v3, 5v5, the special silly stages. Like I said, having the arena be more of like a playground, a sandbox that you could, that you could live in and just kind of mess around with stuff. That could be really good, not only from gameplay standpoint, but from content standpoint as well. But we know Nintendo doesn't really care that much about how we make content from their games. However, I just think this would be really, really fun. My friend and I enjoy the crap out of Smashdown, but we can't play it when he's not here. And the thing is, he lives in the UK. So if he wants to play Smashdown with me, he would quite literally have to do an international flight to be able to sit on my couch and play it with me. And to me, that's just kind of silly. We should be able to have some of these most accessible with friends online. It's just a little bit more effort Nintendo would have to put in. Do I see it happening? Not really. Would I like to see it? Well, of course, that's why I'm suggesting it. So these are my big features that I would like to see in Super Smash Bros. 7. There are definitely more that will probably come to my head and maybe I'll do another video on those. But I still want to know, what do you guys think? Feature-wise, they should improve upon or add to Super Smash Bros. 7. I'm not talking about game modes. I'm not talking about the mechanics of the fighting. I'm not talking about characters. Like, that's a whole separate thing. Those are going to be separate videos that will be coming out very soon. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And check out some of my other videos. I got a little hodgepodge of stuff. I've been experimental, played like Spider-Man 2 and stuff like that. I do a lot of Kingdom Hearts and Smash content as well. So that's going to be all for this one. But I'll see you, hopefully, in the next one. Bye now.